Oh yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today I'm back with the MK808 Android Mini PC, and I'm going to show you how to install an updated ROM on here. This ROM is got some new uh, improvements over the original ROM. It's rooted, and it's faster. It's fixed a few different problems that we have, so I've pre-configured a few things on here already, but uh, we can take a look. And we can see now that the CPU frequency has been fixed. It's now running the full 1.6 gigahertz. So there you see 200 megahertz on up to 1.6. It was 1.2 before. And I think that's helped out with the speed a little bit here because now it runs, I've got 65 all the way up to 70 on the Lin pack there. And here's some of the other improvements. You've got the capability to reboot or power down the MK808 now. And uh, if you power it off, you still have to pull the power cord out after you're done, the light stays on, but it's still a lot better than pulling the power cord in the middle of it running. Here's your super user mode. So you've got uh, full root access on here, which allows you to install a lot of cooler apps. I'll put a link in the description below to both the 1.4 and 1.5 ROMs. The 1.5 is not quite perfected yet, so that's why I'm sticking with the 1.4 for now. All right, we're here at Freak Tab, and this is where you get the thinless 1.4 uh, rooted ROM for your MK808. So the first thing you need to do is create an account. I'll put the link to the ROM location in the description below, but create an account. Be sure and check this Remember Me box or you won't be able to download the file. Log in. Okay, and this is the link to where the rooted ROM is. There's lots of information in here, but basically click this file here. Click this, download it save it to your desktop once you get the file saved I put it on my desktop in a folder go here and extract it so extract files here you'll get this folder inside this folder is all the things you need to flash the ROM and it's actually pretty simple but here's your flashing tool here's your readme text with step-by-step -step instructions which I'll tell you some most of it but I would say definitely read over it because it's easy to mess things up on here here's your flashing tool Now we're ready to start preparing for the flashing process. It's very important to get the USB drivers installed correctly. So first, take out your SD card. I'm going to plug in this HDMI adapter, plug that into the cable, and the cable is going to go into my monitor, which is a two-monitor setup, so I can see Windows on one side and the Android mini PC screen on the other. Next, you plug the USB directly from the back of the computer into the OTG port on the MK808. You should hear the ding when it uh, connects, and that means that Windows is installing the USB driver. This is just a generic driver, though, kind of like a driver for a thumb drive. We need to open the ROM flash tool now that came with the updated ROM, and click Reboot to Flash Mode. Once this is done, the screen should go blank on the Android side. That means you are in the correct mode. Now Windows should detect a new device. You'll hear a ding that knows it's looking for it, and it should pop up with a USB window, and you need to browse to the drivers that came with the ROM. Choose your version of Windows, and whether it's 64-bit or 32-bit. If Windows did not see a new USB device, you need to start over. If it did, you can disconnect the MK808, and definitely need to reboot the computer. That's very important. On some units, the ROM flash tool will not work when trying to get the MK808 into flash mode. This is an alternative method to get it into flash mode. So there are two holes on the back. One has a light, the other has a button inside. If you stick a paper clip in there, you can feel it click. Starting with the USB unplugged, push the paper clip into the hole and hold the button down while plugging in the USB to the OTG port. Keep holding the button down for about 7 seconds. You should hear Windows ding. That means it's recognized the device and you're entering into flash mode. You can then take out the paper clip and this is where you'll need to install the USB drivers that came with the ROM. Once you've installed the USB drivers that came with the ROM, it's all downhill from there. All you need to do is erase the NAND on the unit. So this is going to reformat it. It's going to change the partition size. So you'll have a larger partition size to uh, install apps on. Once it's done erasing the NAND memory, just hit flash ROM and it's going to write the ROM to the MK808. It'll take about five minutes and then you are ready to boot up into your new ROM. 
I wanted to thank Bob Finless for making this ROM. So there's a spot on that forum to donate. I left him a few bucks there, and I think you should consider it too. It'll help them make new ROMs and also get Bob new hardware to develop more ROMs for. Don't forget, this procedure can be used for the 1.4 ROM, the 1.5 ROM, and probably other ROMs that come out in the future. I'll keep the uh, links updated in the description down below for uh, any new ROMs that come out. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll keep you updated on all the Android TV events as they come. And give me a like. That will help me out a ton, too. Thanks for watching, and as always, aloha.